In lesson 512, we're going to be creating symmetric figures. We'll start off with a quick warm up on your whiteboard and then move into our math journal. So on your whiteboard, would you go ahead and write the numbers? You can do one number at a time if you choose or spread them out across the top. You're going to write the factor pairs for each number. So for example, I'll do number one for you. One times 20 equals 20. I'm gonna go in order, starting with one, and then anything times two, anything times three, until I get the turnaround fact. Remember, ding, ding, ding. When you get that turnaround fact, if you've done them in order, you know you have all the factor pairs. So let me think, two. Yep, two is a factor in any number that ends in an even number, and this one ends in a zero. So two times 10. Three, nothing times three. Four, four times five equals 20. How about five? Five times four, ding, 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 ding. Here we have the turnaround fact, so we know we have all the factor pairs. I gave you a hint for 30, that there are four sets of, four sets of factors. I'm not going to tell you for 45, so try to do that on your own. Go ahead and pause the video. If you need to use your multiplication chart, you may do that as well. Pause the video now. 430, I always start with one times itself. Two times 15, three times 10, and five times six. And if you kept going, six times five would be your turnaround fact. One times 45, three times 15, nothing times four, five times nine, nothing times six, nothing times seven, nothing times eight. You would get back to the turnaround fact. All right, we're gonna talk about symmetry today. A shape is symmetric if it can be folded in half along a line so that two halves are the same size and shape. The fold line is called the line of symmetry. The mirror image of design, while the same size and shape as the original design, faces in the opposite direction. So if you just look at nature or even in buildings around us, look at all of the different things that show symmetry. So if I were to fold this in half, those two sides would match up. If I were to fold that in half, fold this in half. Sometimes it might have more than one line of symmetry as well. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Go ahead and open up your math journal to page 184. 184. At the top it says shapes. Each picture shows one half of a letter. The dash line is the line of symmetry. Guess what the letter is. Then draw the other half of the letter. So what letter is number one everyone? M. So let's go ahead and draw in the other half. Remember it is a mirror line where you see that dash line. They mirror each other. All right, number two, what letter is it? You're right, letter K. Go ahead and draw the other half. Again, that dash line is the line of symmetry. What letter is letter A? Oh, whoops. <laughs> what letter is number three? Sorry about that, is the letter A. How about number four? What letter is that? It is W. Now we're going to draw the other half of each symmetric shape below. Use the dots to help you draw it. How about number six? Count how many dots it goes up 
and how many it goes across. We're going to continue on page 184. I'm just gonna move mine down. Number seven, be careful with this one. It becomes a little bit more intricate of a design or a detailed one. And our line of symmetry runs down the middle. Number eight, draw each part of the shape first. Now, if you look at the try this at the bottom of your page, it says the picture at the right shows one fourth of a symmetric shape and two lines of symmetry. Draw the mirror image for each line of symmetry. So I'm going to start with this one here. And I'm just going to know, let me remove that first. I'm going to go ahead and draw that. Now it goes out one, two, three dots from there. One, two, three. All right, continue. So this has two lines of symmetry. Today, you are going to use that website called Braining Camp. I know we've done it before, but you actually, you don't want to use the app that's in the app store, we actually should be able to go directly to Braining Camp. I know mine says app, but just brainingcamp.com. Our username is NFLD with the number one and the password is NFLD and the number one. Once you log into this site and you've put in the NFLD one for the username and password, you're going to look for pattern blocks. Go ahead and click on pattern blocks. And over on the side, you're going to have some choice. What you are going to do is create a picture. Could be an abstract picture. It could mean, mine, mine was made to look like a superhero. You are going to make it so that you have at least one line of symmetry. So if I were to fold this shape in half, this would match up with this one. This would match up with this. And so what you're going to do is create a design and then draw in your line of symmetry. I would like you to try to use at least, how many shapes do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I would say use 20 or more shapes to create your symmetrical figure. Once you've done that, you can always clear something or delete by hitting the go back. And the go back is right here. You can clear all if you're not satisfied with it, but you're able to rotate them as well. So play around with that. When you're done, you are going to take a screenshot. So at the very end, take a screenshot and then you're going to upload that screenshot to school with you. Have fun.